Hey, and it's another amazing spot and interview we're having here at the 2012 LA Amp and Custom Guitar Show. This is John March from Guitar Talk with John and Jamie. And again, I'm here at the 2012 LA Amp and Custom Guitar Show with Reality Web Video, and I'm really excited to be here at Solid Cables, although I seem to be excited a lot of the time, but I'm easily excited. Um, I'm here actually uh, with a good friend of mine at Solid Cables. Niall Magahi, how's it going? Niall Magahi. And um, I use Solid Cable, so I, I'm not endorsing or not endorsing, but I happen to be a little biased. Um, these particular cables are a really extraordinary thing for guitar players, but let's talk about why. Okay. Let's talk about why. Well, I, I play guitar for a long time, still do, and I just got bored with my cables breaking, and I got off a tour over in Europe where you just can't get any decent cables at all, period, for any amount of money, and I came back to L.A., and started asking my friends, hey, my cables broke while I was on tour, and uh, you know, what do you, got, what do you guys use? And everybody was like, these cables suck. I, they all break, they don't sound good, they're expensive, I bought this brand, that brand, they broke, I took them back, the new ones didn't even work. I was like, okay, this is ridiculous, I can, I can do better than this. So I started building my own stuff, and uh, kept improving them, kept improving them, and I have one, I got a couple of buddies that, they're the consummate if you give them something within 10 minutes, it's going to be broken. They're that, not, that would I be one of those? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm and one of your breaking cable buddies. You guys are the 800-pound gorillas. And I figure <laughs> if my 800-pound gorilla friends can't I bust it. I think myself as 300 pounds. 300 pounds. Okay, well, you know. Well, this is L.A. You're meant to look svelte and slender. Yeah, but I have friends who are in the 800, 900-pound gorilla range. Suck, just so you know. suck the cheeks in, you know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm so, a working guy. No, no, it's an important distinction. The 800 and 900 pound gorillas are the guys who are the serious heavyweight guitar players who are on the road all the time. Yep. Then there's the 500 pound gorillas, and then there's like the 300 pound gorillas, which yep. are working guys. Yeah. Teachers, working yep. guys who, who are actually doing their best to play and work and make a living and have tools that work. Yep. So I, I consider myself, to, uh, that's an important group. I like Big being time. in the 300 pound gorillas. Big and time. we do break stuff. So I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. But yeah, yeah, no, no, that actually totally brings it, brings it to a good point because, I mean, a cable is something that you shouldn't have to think about. You just use it. It's a tool. It's like picking up a pencil or a wrench. You just, it's there. It works. You use it. When you're done, you put it away and you reuse it again. You don't have to think about it. Right. And, you know, the, the people that, that get stuff that, that breaks or they have to adjust it every single time, they're dithering. It's taking time away from their ability to play or concentrate on their gig or whatever. That, that's, that's, you know, negative. So you wanted to build a working tool. A working tool that Great you idea. can just it can just disappear and you can get on with your art which is playing playing your guitar listening to your amp pleasing your audience pleasing okay. yourself so what's unique about the cables so these are we went for a boutique level of guitar sound very high fidelity very beautiful sound uh, but also in uh, kind of built built to withstand abuse okay because a lot of the stuff that's there that's high end it's perfect for the studio you can move it around and whatnot and it's fine but as soon as you know you get a road case slamming on it or a guy like wrapping it around the side of a 412 and yanking on it it's done it's dead okay so I wanted something that will hold up to the abuse but still give you that awesome sound every single time so what did what's tell me well we don't uh, have to go into chemical lattices and, and neural networks uh, no, um, it just it boiled down to using high quality materials okay. and then just overbuilding on every single stress or failure point on there. The mechanical stuff, the metal portion, uh, okay. the wire, the conductor, using a lot of copper, not just little thin. And that's thin a, wires. that's an important issue. Capacitance is a yes. really important issue because one of the main fail, failure points of uh, especially longer length uh, guitar cables is capacitance over yep. distance. Yep, yep, okay. exactly. So we w we wanted something that was a neutral sounding cable, gave, got, gave you what you know you put into one end, came out the other end as unaltered as you possibly can within the laws of physics. Okay. Blah 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 blah. Um, and Don't you like the underscoring that happens when we're talking? Yeah, it's good. It's like the mood is following our conversation. It is. I like it. it is. Okay. I can feel it. Okay. Um, so so. Beyond the electrical and acoustic characteristics of selecting the best possible wire, making stuff that you know you can flex it a lot and it's not going to hurt it. Right. You can coil it up and it coils exactly the same yep. time. You're not going to get those blister breakages. And you know, using cables for 20, 30, whatever the hell the amount of years I have, you've seen every way that things can fail: yep. separations, solder joints, everything. So that's what I went through once I started building things and attaching it all together. And I realized a unified uh, outer outer contact surface cable design was the way to go. Right. The, the metal of the end is 
absolutely fused with the rest of the parts of the cable down the stream, and you've got this thick jacketing that resists twist breakage, right, right. coil breakage, and you can laterally pull it, and it's not going to pull out of its right. components. Right. That that was the that was the epiphany moment when it's like I've done it. It's now I, I've had mine what th three years now, four At years, least. three or four years, never for a single problem. Yeah. I have a pair. I haven't, I, I've had a pair of your cables, and I just got a new one. Tell me about the new one that I just got. Uh, the new one you got is a GT series. Um, that is our mid-grade cable. Um, it is a, it's a different recipe because uh, a whole lot of reasons, but we went for a low-cap cable, but we also boosted up the rest of the frequency spectrum in the mids and lows, so it actually gives you a nice, loud, but still evenly balanced cable. A lot we were trying this because I'm a strap player, and you like yep. the idea of me using this for more more of a balanced bottom end with the strap. Exactly. Okay, and exactly. you were actually telling me to use this out of my pedal board into the amp and yep. combine that with one of my, one of my what are the, talk about the red? Uh, the red is the Ultra. That's that's like the, the ultimate guitar cable design. Um, also, it is made for a guitar level frequency bandwidth. The, the GT series gives you a little bit more low end, so mm -hmm. uh, you, on some Strat or hardtail single coil style guitars, you get a lot of attenuation in the low end and you need to bring that sort of thing up. So. Um, for guys that are playing British kind of amps, AC30s, uh, Marshalls, that sort of thing, you get a shelving at a certain low, low level frequency. Ultra, perfect for that. It's got the mid-range bump that you're looking for, but the GT is more even across the, the sp frequency spectrum. So clean guys, blackface fender, you're looking for that kind of chimey sound, the sparkle, sparkle but not harsh, yeah. and then a nice big, Smooth, transient top yep, end. Yep, Beautiful. exactly. And okay. nice, nice low end floor. So that's really good for bass players too. Oh, okay. Um, out of, I mean, I've listened to hundreds of pieces of wire, and that that wire that's in the GT has got the nice treble sparkle of a silver conductor cable and a low cap cable. But because of the diameter of the wire filaments that are in there and some of the other boring ass architect architecture that's in there, you actually get the low end and mids that typically a silver or a low cap cable doesn't doesn't support. Low capacitance for those of you know checking in. Yeah. And I just want I just want to also want to what that all translates to because he's a brilliant genius of audio and cable and sound is it's a really important thing to do is, is his cables sound really great and they don't break. Yeah. So that's really if we're going to distill it for me is your cables sound really great, yep. they don't break and they have uh, I believe a lifetime warranty. Yes. Lifetime Limited, warranty. No questions asked, lifetime warranty. Okay. So let's talk uh, how can people find out more about what's well, we're on Facebook. Uh, we're on www.solidcables.com. Slow well. that down. www.solidcables.com. All right. And uh, yeah, we're around. And stuff. All right. We're around. Yes. I'm really happy you're around. Yes. So thanks for being at the LA Amp and you Custom Guitar it. Show. I love thanks it. Thanks for being here on Reality Web Video. And I'm going to expect to see you on Guitar Talk with John and Jamie. And we're going to try and get you on there to talk about low cap cables. Okay. Sounds okay. Good. Thanks a lot. See you guys. See ya.